Salute. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube world. What's happening? It's Nocturnal Thoughts, man. Uh, first of all, I gotta say, it's Friday, people. It's Friday. Hey, I hope everybody has a blessed, blessed, blessed Friday. You know what I'm saying? And a wonderful, relaxing weekend. Um, man, just want to bring y'all up to speed, up to date on, on um, you know, my thoughts, nocturnal thoughts, talking about some boxing real quick, get out the way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the first big thing that I wanted to say was um, shots out to Showbiz the Adult. Um, very inspirational video I watched from him yesterday um, where he, you know, he got invited out to Mike Tyson's ranch and he did a tour of the ranch and showed you the uh, hot box where you know Mike Tyson does his hot box interviews he showed you the ring um, kind of the ins and outs and kind of gave you just he made you feel like you were there experiencing the moment with him he had some funny stories to go along with it he said Mike Tyson gave him a fist bump <laughs> he, said, he said Mike Tyson gave him a fist bump and broke like he broke his knuckles you know what I'm saying showbiz the adult man you winning and you are inspiring people man I salute that I salute that whole video so go check it out showbiz the adult from Mike Tyson's ranch and uh, that segues me into talking about what everybody else is talking about right now the big announcement with Mike Tyson doing a fight in September with Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. coming in at the age of 51. Um, Mike Tyson coming in at the age of, I want to say, 54. I might be off on the numbers. But about 54 years old. Um, he's doing a, he's starting a, a league of, of senior athletes. You know what I'm saying? Like, for, for, for all athletes, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's saying these guys still have a big following. They still are athletic. They still can perform. And he's just giving them a platform to still, you know, showcase their God-given talents. So I salute that whole idea. I think it's a dope idea. Um, so him and Roy Jones is doing a sparring match. Uh, I, from what it sounds like to me, they will, will be wearing protective headgear. Listening to Showbiz the Dope, man, it really had me nervous for Roy Jones Jr., man. It really has me nervous for Roy Jones. But Roy Jones is a um, phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, and he fears none. I mean, this dude has no fear in his heart. Uh, I'm watching side-by-side -side videos from Fight Hype, you know, interviews with Roy Jones talking about the fight. And he's, like, talking about, look, man, this is going to be basically David versus Goliath you look at Mike Tyson he's still he's still you know physically intimidating big thighs big calves big neck big shoulders big arms and I'm just this little dude and the only thing I got on my side is God and that's all I need is God on my side Roy Jones is is um I think Roy Jones is chomping at the bit to fight Mike Tyson but you know man looking at them doing side by side sparring footage I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, all I have to say is Roy Jones is all heart. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just it ain't about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. Roy Jones is is one of my heroes. Period. Point blank. Um, but I'm a little nervous for him. Can't wait to see it. I think is I think it's fun. It's entertaining. A lot of people. But we're saying, is it going to be safe or is it going to be a fixed fight or is it going to be just, you know, uh, taking it easy on each other? I don't see that happening from either one of those guys. The competitive nature alone, I think you're going to see them try to put their full talent on display. And uh, I would not be surprised to see a knockout or a knockdown. So, shots out to Mike Tyson. Shots out to his, um, his league. I want to get me one of those Tyson Ranch t-shirts. I also want to get that, that black t-shirt he had, uh, Trill or tr whatever the name that's on that shirt. I want to get one of those too. 
Um, shouts out to Roy Jones Jr. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see him perform again. Was definitely one of my favorite fighters growing up. Um, one of the best highlight reels you'll ever be able to see in boxing is Roy Jones Jr. bar none. Um, also, man, I watched a couple of videos and I watched some TFM Lopez. I watched some Javante Tank Davis sparring with Ivan Redcatch and then I'm seeing some kind of beef they have talking about, you know, you know, you just released a 30 second clip, show the whole footage and you owe me two rounds and a lot of back and forth. I don't understand that whole situation. How did they get into it that quickly? Um, so I don't know, maybe it's just all fun and games trying to bring attention to each other. But um, Javante Tank Davis about, about to fight uh, Leo Santa Cruz. That sparked my interest a little bit so I want to dive into that um, but most people think Javante Tank Davis is going to pretty much blow uh, Santa Cruz out of the water a lot of people not giving Leo Santa Cruz any of any any kind of a chance like some people out here saying he won't last four or five rounds with Javante Tank Davis um, he did look good sparring red cash but he didn't look like he was in the best shape like he was dropping some bombs most definitely but he also looked like you know he's going to be trying to cut off some weight too I watched another little clip of, uh, I think it was, um, who was that? Tiafima Lopez, may have been Tiafima Lopez and somebody else just had a whole video of them clowning on Javante Tank Davis, talking about he looked like the, the Michelin man and he looked like, you know what I'm saying, uh, he was in fat camp and his head is so damn big, that's why he can't make weight, just a whole bunch of, you know, jokes and whatnot. But, you know, I want to see that fight come about. I'm not too thrilled about it, but, you know, it's still... The last time I seen Javante take Davis was against the Curious Gamboa. And that kind of was a, a mixed-type fight, you know what I'm saying? It didn't have a, a lot of highlight moments. Um, and once again, he did have a little bit of the issue making that weight. So I'm really tuning in to see him see if he makes the weight without any issues. You know what I'm saying? Um... Other than that, man, what else, did I, what else did I check out that I wanted to pay homage to? Um, I seen Counterpunch Boxing did a video talking about Deontay Wilder doing, um, doing the, the spread on the Afro. I want to say this name right because I, I, I said the name wrong the other day and I wanted to apologize. Afropolitan. Afropolitan Magazine the Deontay Wilder spread he gave props to that and that was refreshing to hear because usually when I watch counterpunch boxing um, not that he's biased I don't know I think he just kind of got on the roll a little bit of um, you know he, he went with the flow of it I can't say he ha has said negative things about Deontay Wilder you know what I'm saying but this was a refreshing video for for him kind of to step outside of the boxing and just say salute to this to, salute to this guy for doing something positive for african heritage and just giving him credit for you know what i'm saying um the photo shoot was dope and for anybody that has an issue with him doing a photo shoot i just don't i don't have i don't understand that you know what i mean like like i said I'm not even going, I'm not going to go into that. I just want to say shots out to Counterpunch Boxing. I did enjoy that video and I wanted to come back and correct myself. When I did my video on Deontay Wilder, uh, I kept screwing up the name. For one, it's Nocturnal Thoughts. I, I work all night long and then when I come make my videos, as, as you can see, in the daytime when my, my, I'm on my last little, I'm running on fumes. I'm usually running on fumes when I have time to drop my video so sometimes I have to come back and correct myself so and I don't want to you know say this name incorrectly because I think this is going to be a dope dope magazine Afropolitan magazine I can't wait to check it out um other than that I think I think that's about it man um can't wait tuning in to Charlo versus um Deborah Rinchenko. can't wait to tune in to 
Charlo versus um, uh, what's his name, Ros uh, Rosario. Ah, it's on the 26th. That's the only thing about it. On the 26th of September, I'm supposed to be in Atlanta for um, my mother's birthday party. So I might not be able to see that fight on the 26th. And um, I thought about that last night too, and it made me kind of sad because, you know, I haven't watched any live new boxing in, in a long time. And that's what I'm looking forward to the most to see uh, this, this pay per view with Charlo, with Devorinchenko, and Charlo with uh, Rosario and I probably would be in Atlanta but anyways just want to make this little quick video correct myself talk about Mike Tyson <laughs> talk about showbiz the adult dope video uh, and like I said very inspirational y'all check it out showbiz the adult Mike Tyson ranch uh, does a walkthrough and you know just just all around good video so y'all enjoy y'all y'all weekend you know what I'm saying? Uh, enjoy your Friday. Be blessed. Take it easy. Nocturnal thoughts. I salute. I'm out. Peace.